Hello, Pee Wee. Hello, Wimmy. <laughs> Am I late? Of course you're late, Pee Wee. But I forgive you. <laughs> oh, Wimmy. <laughs> oh, the children! The children! Why don't you take a picture? It'll last longer. Ah! Paparazzi! Oh, Kiwi, really? Now, children! Mr. Herman and I would like to have a quiet lunch. Kiwi Herman is back in the movies. His second film, Big Top Kiwi, opened last Friday. Well, how do you publicize it? You've got a star who's in California doing the Johnny Carson show. What does he do? Paramount buys him eight hours of satellite time. He, uh, journalists from all across the country go to little uh, offices where they look at a camera. And Pee Wee's there on a TV. So what did we do? We did the same thing. And now we're going to show you seven minutes of satellite time with Pee Wee Herman, the one, the only, who in real life, of course, is known as Paul Rubens. Paul Rubens produced this wrote this movie, and Pee Wee, of course, stars in it. He also, uh, Paul Rubens, Pee Wee, refuses to do interviews except as Pee Wee. Let's go to our clip. All right, Stephen Schaefer here. I'm from the Boston Herald, and also <coughs> tomorrow's television tonight. And I want to say hello to Pee Wee Herman out in Los Angeles. <laughs> hello. Now, <laughs> Pee Wee, it's been three years since your last movie, which was an unexpected surprise hit and a huge hit. Why has it taken so long for Pee Wee Big Top? Quality. <laughs> is quality that tough, or was it a question of control? Did you have to fight with the studios before you settled with uh, Paramount to uh, make this movie? No, no. That's an ugly, vicious, untrue rumor. Well, I, I mean, Steve. Well, Warner Brothers had had done the first one, and the expectation was that you would have gone back to Warner Brothers for your next movie. How did? Who? Okay, forget Warner Brothers there. Uh, <laughs> what about, uh, this is a Paul Rubens production. It's the first thing we see up on the screen. How is it to work with Paul Rubens as the producer? Oh, fantastic. He's, we, I can't say enough good stuff about him. He's, he's a saint in is this he, business. Is he a tough guy? Yeah, yeah. What, uh, but he cares a lot about what he does, so that's probably why it took three years. Now, what about the question of a director on this movie? Was there any uh, thought at first of you directing Big Top Pee Wee? Yeah, I did think about it. And in fact, the studio said I could direct it, but then I got nervous at the last minute. And I thought, like, I don't really want to direct it yet. I'm going to direct my next one, how but did, not this one. How did you come up with Randall Kleiser of Blue Lagoon and Grease fame? Well, he begged me to direct it. <laughs> you know, was he one of many? Finally, I what? Was he one of many directors begging to direct your next movie? E no. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be honest, no, they weren't like banging the door down to do it. But you know, I had a contest here, and Randall won. It was a contest winner. No, uh, the movie. No, really, I, I I had worked with Randall prior to Big Top Pee Wee on Flight of the Navigator, and uh, we got along really good, and I liked his movies. I mean, you know, Blue Lagoon, it's classic. Okay. So. Now, why, why give Pee Wee Herman a big, big kiss in this movie? I mean, to love interest. What was the uh, motivation behind that? Why not? That's what I thought. Okay. Try it. Try Do it. something unexpected. It, cer it certainly is. Now, uh, a talking pig, Vance, your best pal, your lab partner in this movie, how did that idea come up? Well... I had a talking pig at one time, so it's based on a true story, really. When was this, when was this talking pig uh, a good friend of yours, or your pet? Oh, a few years back. Good morning, Bugs! <laughs> Beautiful day, huh? <laughs> 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 Have 
everything seems completely different to me today. The air smells so fresh. The sky seems a brand new shade of blue. I don't think I've ever noticed the beauty of this leaf. And dance! Have you always been so handsome? Who's <laughs> my handsome little baby? Who's <laughs> my handsome little baby? <laughs> Now, there's a sequence in the movie where we see uh, everybody run into the basement of the uh, farmhouse. A big storm is coming. The doors open up from the shelter in the basement, and the circus has arrived. I, I really expected some kind of, maybe at the end of the movie, a dream sequence or something to have the whole movie be a dream, like a season from Dallas. But the movie ends rather sort of abruptly. Uh, was this always planned this way? Did you film an alternate ending? Did you plan to have some kind of connection? It seems sort of like a Wizard of Oz reference almost. Well, there was actually a, a more strong Wizard of Oz reference originally in the script. I was going to be hit in the, I was going to run back in the house and while the animals were going in the storm shelter and then get hit, uh, you know, like in the Wizard of Oz, a window was going to fly open and I was going to fall onto the bed and then get back up and have the Paramount Mountain come up on my head like a big bump. But we decided that that was too much like the Wizard of Oz and that it would also tend to make the audience think more like the rest of the movie from that point was a dream, which it wasn't, so we didn't want to. But, <laughs> Steve, <laughs> contemplate this. What if the beginning dream sequence in the movie is the only reality and the rest of the whole movie is a dream? That's too much to contemplate. What, <laughs> a, what about the idea of an 82-minute feature this is like Woody Allen time. Uh, was, there, was there ever a thought of, you know, I've got to give people 90 minutes, or was this just an 82-minute movie? Is it 82? Movie? It I is. think it's longer than 82. I clocked it at 82 for those final things at Paramount. Steve, check your watch. <laughs> no, it's probably 82 if you say it is, Steve. Okay. Anything you say, Steve. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about the... It was, it was as long as it was, though. You know, I mean, it was longer. It was much longer. But, you know, we cut it down, and I think, you know... You cut it down because preview audiences grew restless, or you... No, you, no, no. We just cut it down because there was too much in it. How and many, when we cut it down, it turned out to be 82 minutes, Okay, as many, you say. How many red, red bow ties do you have? Several. Several. You don't know how many? No. Okay. I don't really. Okay. Now, would, have you seen Two Framed Roger Rabbit? No. Okay. There's a character in there called Baby Herman, who's adorable on screen, but a cigar-smoking tyrant off. Uh, there have been rumors that Pee Wee Herman off screen is difficult to deal with. What do you think about that? Well, I don't know. Name are, some names. Are you a temperamental artist? No. Uh, uh, do you think that the, the appeal of Pee Wee is something that's going to, let's say, peak with this movie and then sort of fade that's out? That's going to what? Something that's what now? Will peak with this I film. I was back with the t a t whole temperamental question. I see. It was making me so angry I couldn't even hear what you were saying next. <laughs> well, I, I'm not trying to make you angry. I'm just trying to get at the, <laughs> I'm kidding. the heart and I'm just soul. kidding. Okay. Uh, do you see Pee Wee Herman his popularity. I mean, when you did your Carnegie Hall gig and invited everybody for uh, milk and donuts and had buses for everybody afterwards, people said... That wasn't me. Who was that? That was Andy, Co Andy Kaufman. Oh, okay. Sorry. But when, when your first movie was a big hit, people said, oh, he'll never have another hit like this in the movies again. When you did your TV series, people said, he can't top himself with this. Do you feel like you're always having to prove that Pee Wee Herman is something that's more than just you know, a one-time sensation for some people? Yeah. Yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. To be, to be honest with you, I do feel that. Because people did say that. They said, well, the first movie will be in the midnight houses before it's, you know, even released. And, and you know, and they said, why would you do a TV show after you made a movie and it won't be successful and no one's done live action and just what you said. So I do feel like I have to prove myself over and over again. So I might as well do stuff that makes me happy, that I like, that I'm going to stand behind and be able to enjoy. And then hopefully everyone else will like it too, or at least some people. Okay. Well, thank you, Pee Wee Herman. Good luck with Big Top Pee Wee. Thank you, Steve Schaefer. <laughs>